Hey guys, welcome back to Plan As You Go, day nine. Today is Saturday, where I show you how I use all the planners every day. So I'm gonna take my power sheets, we'll set that off to the side, because we'll do that last, and I'm going to pull out my passion planner and my plum paper planner, as well as my content planner and put that off to the side and let's see what we accomplished yesterday and what we need to do today. Today is Saturday. Um, I do tend to do a little bit of work on the weekends, but it's not a full-blown work day like Monday through Friday is. It's just kind of a, a tie-up, loose ends sort of day. I didn't do any of my photo booth stuff, which was a big thing on my to-do list. I did do the work bar release, um, but I did do a lot of designing yesterday. So I got uh, what I'm releasing on Monday designed as well as the rest of the weekly kits, but I did not get the other sizes for the subscription box designed, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna check off things I got designed, because a lot of the photo booth stuff, I was like, I still need to design this. So that's what I focused on first before going and taking pictures. So today I'll probably do some photograph, photography, photographing. Yes. Take some pictures. We're going to take some pictures today. I just got back from bar class, so my brain's a little like, where are we? How did we survive? Julia teaches a mean bar class, I'm telling you. Um, I've kind of been failing on my miracle morning. I did read a little bit yesterday. I'm going to check that off. Otherwise, I haven't been the most consistent. The getting, getting back into routines and fitting in filming has been a little interesting because I tend to do it in the morning and it takes me a good chunk of time. It takes me, you know, a solid... 30, 45, an hour to film these sometimes, and then I get done with the day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's already, you know, 11, like and I haven't done all this stuff yet because I've been filming. So that's been a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> um, I need, yes, so I'm gonna put photo booth. Okay, I finished filling out the rest of my passion planner. Um, I finished the social media tracker, and then we're going to a barbecue tonight, so I need to remember to bring aside to that. I also really want to declutter the craft room downstairs because when I moved my upstairs craft room to the basement, I just like, we were in such a hurry that I just moved everything and it was just like, put things in drawers. Like, so I really want to go through and list things for sale if I have things that I want to sell and get that all situated because there's just a lot down there that we don't need. And it gives me anxiety. Clutter gives me anxiety. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and switch to the plum paper planner. I did write in a couple things yesterday so I wouldn't forget I need to do, um, I need to start a March spread blog post. I posted yesterday all my February weekly spreads with links to the stickers that I used as well as pens and highlighters and other things that I used for each week. <clears throat> in each spread for the month of February. So if you wanna look at that, chelseabrowndesigns.com, it'll be right there. I also really need to order my academic passion planners because otherwise I'm not gonna get them early and people are gonna be like, what colors go with what? And I'm be like, I don't know, cause I don't have them yet. So <laughs> it's always nice to have them somewhat early. Either way, I'm always like the last one. So <laughs> even though I'm like, not that far away from California. I always get things late. So I really need to order those so that I can take pictures with them. And then maybe seeing all of them together will help me decide what I want to do. I'm kind of leaning towards just a black planner and then decorating the cover. So that's, that's my thought right now. We'll see if it changes. Okay, filled out the Saturday section of everything we need to do. We're also gonna go buy tile for the basement bathroom today. So that's exciting. And then I also wrote down a little section for my social media, what I need to post today, which I need to take pictures of all of this. So we'll do that once we're done with this. 
go ahead and I'm totally writing in. I was like, I should write that down. Earlier how I was like, go to the gym, then film, plan as you go. That's what I learned this week, so I'm writing it down. Oh, we know what we need to do? I'm so glad I made my little to-do list to check off what I need to cover in these videos. We need to write a good thing that happened yesterday. And I'm not much of a Starbucks drinker now that I don't work there anymore. I don't know. I was never one of the fruity drink drinkers anyways, but we did have a little Starbucks day yesterday where I got all the girls Starbucks. So that was kind of a fun little treat that we don't normally do. Perfect. Now we can close everything up. So yesterday we covered the life evaluation. Which three areas, so next page, which three areas of your life do you want to cultivate moving forward? Circle three that you want to change or focus on in the season ahead. Um, so I'm going to look back at what my lowest scoring ones were, which were friends and family. But I also want to focus on like personal growth. I'm just, can we circle everything? Finances. And work is just, it's always going to be a goal. So why not? We're not going to ignore that. Otherwise, I think the rest is really good, really strong. There's just little things I want to focus on in those categories. Letting go. Sounds more emotional things. Maybe your cultivated life evaluation brought up some challenging feelings. Or maybe it made you feel extra excited about the possibility of changes ahead. Whatever you discovered in your evaluation, laid down your feelings. Moving forward requires letting go of something first. Let it all go here as you write out your thoughts. I'm kind of thinking it might be fun to do a couple pages since it's Saturday and it's still pretty early in the day to get a little head start. So I might go through and do a bunch of writing and then cover it later. Okay. So I actually think I'm going to stop here because it talks about looking back on your past year and I want to pull out the planners that I used and really look back on the good things that happened and the challenges, um, lessons learned, and the weight people I'm grateful for and do that just separately on my own. But I went in and we talked about our fears as well as things letting go. I think a big thing that I need to let go is my limiting self-beliefs. So I am excited to continue to fill this out and get some really solid goals written out. And I really do recommend um, getting this Power Sheets Cultivate What Matters planner because it's really in depth and it's kind of scary, but like it's exciting all at the same time. So if you're someone that maybe gets stuck with goal planning or if like, for example, like I've been using the Passion Planner for four years, three, four years now. And while I love it, I haven't expanded into other realms of goal setting. I've just stuck with what the Passion Planner does and it gets a little repetitive because it's the same thing over. So this just kind of helps broaden your goal setting. So I do recommend that, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go through my old planners and write that, fill that section out a little bit later. Otherwise, that's it for the day. Quick and easy Saturdays, you know. It's time to do all the, the housework, not work stuff. Um, so as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.